If there was no wave function, there was never a superposition. There's never a need to get anything to collapse. In this picture, some observable quantities are reflecting things that are really there. The people who gave us the biggest revolutions in modern physics, quantum theory and relativity, were all strongly connected to philosophy. Physicists have grappled with the seemingly outlandish implications of quantum theory that particles are purportedly in multiple places simultaneously, and there's a mysterious wave function that collapses upon measurement and a framework that requires so-called imaginary numbers, etc. I traveled to the oldest physics laboratory in the United States to meet at Harvard with theoretical physicist and philosopher Jacob Barndes, who is the co-director of the graduate studies department there, where we go into technical depth into his innovative reformulation of quantum theory for more fundamental mechanics called indivisible stochastic processes. My name is Kurt Jemungle, and this was part of my three-day tour of Harvard, Tufts, and MIT, where I recorded five podcasts, one of them being with Jacob Barndes that you're seeing now, which was actually over seven hours long, so we're splitting it into two. The others are with Michael Levin, Anna Chaunika, and Manolis Kellis. There's also Professor William Hahn, a computer scientist, and that was filmed live at the MIT Media Lab. Subscribe to get notified. Jacob's breakthrough theory raises new provocative questions such as, what if quantum waves don't exist? Did physics lose its soul by abandoning philosophy? Does time flow differently in quantum physics? And was Einstein right all along? <laughs>